Good morning, everybody. You are looking live over the city of Macon, I believe. A beautiful shot there. Hunter smiling at me. I hope I got that right. It is now 630 on this 4th of July. I'm Carly Barnett. Caitlin Heck has this morning off first. Let's send it over to Hunter Williams for a look at our 4th of July forecast. Well, good morning, Carly. Happy 4th of July. That was a bit of a trick shot. That was actually Dublin there. Current temperatures outside 73 right now. All right. Thank you, Hunter. Happening today, the annual fireworks display at Sparks Over the Park is tonight at Lake Tobisofki and park officials say they are expecting thousands of people. Our morning reporter, Wanya Reese, joins us live from Sandy Beach. What time is everything going to be starting up today, Wanya? Good morning, Carly and Carly. I promised a surprise for you. So here we go. This is going to be a sparktacular surprise. It's live TV. We're doing this right now. <laughs> I am Let's waiting see. with bated breath, right. Wanye. Where's my sparktacular are, surprise, on, Wanye? No pressure. It's 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 coming. Oh, Eager there we go. Anticipation. Ha! There we go. Yes. We got it right here. The anticipation was well worth it. I'm going to go ahead, sink my toes in the sand, and I'm going to enjoy my time out here on the lake, live in Macon, Wanye Reese, 13 WMAZ News. <laughs> that was beautiful, Wanye. You enjoy what I would like to call the calm before the storm right now. You have the beach all to yourself. Now, according to county spokesman Chris Floor, Tobisofki is run from an enterprise account that is funded by fees at the lake, like the admission price, so there is no taxpayer money that is going toward the fireworks themselves. For even more more Independence Day fun. Several other events are taking place across central Georgia. At 8 a.m., the Wrightsville Johnson County 4th of July celebration will kick off with the Firecracker 5K Run. Float Days' 4th of July float will start at 10 a.m. That is at Amerson River Park. I personally would prefer a float over a 5K, but hey, that's up to you. And if you can't make it to any of the early events, here's what is happening later on in the day. The 4th of July Legend of Hip Hop will be held at the Pavilion in Griffin. Doors open for that at 3. Concert starts at 5. And then at 6 p.m., Broadway Loves America invades Macon's Little Theater. There you can enjoy a few patriotic tunes. And Henderson Baptist Church in Elko is hosting a fun night of barbecue, games, and fireworks. The festivities for that start at 7 tonight. For a full list of all those celebrations, there's a lot going on. You can look to 13WMAZ.com. But if you already do have plans, and maybe those plans consist of traveling, you should expect to pay a little more at the pump today. AAA says drivers will see a 50 to 60 cent increase from this time last year. Here in the Peach State, average prices at the pump are about $2.69. Fortunately for us, they're about 10 cents cheaper here in central Georgia. AAA says the rising prices are due to renewed concerns of global oil supply shortages. They say even though you may spend a little more, it shouldn't ruin your travel plans. You can't put a price on those memories, right? Meanwhile, bib commissioners still working on next year's budget. Commissioners approved about $15 million to fund outside agencies that had previously been cut. Abby Kasouris unpacks what was funded and what this will do to the millage rate now. We will not, we will not be shut. It's 13 WMEZ News. For a full list of programs that received funding at last night's meeting and the proposed millage rates, you can go to 13WMAZ.com for more. Right now, a Houston County man is set to spend the next 15 years in prison after he caused an accident in Bonaire that injured four people, including three children, and ran off. District Attorney George Hartwig says Rashawn Hamilton is convicted of causing serious injury by motor vehicle, running from a police officer, and cruelty to children. Last July, Hartwig says Hamilton sped off when a deputy tried to make a traffic stop. The deputy chased him, but stopped when he noticed there were children in the car. Hamilton hit a parked car near the intersection of Rasling Way and Houston Lake Drive, and then he just ran off. Four passengers, including Hamilton's girlfriend and three children, were seriously injured. Deputies arrested Hamilton last August in Worth County. Well, yesterday we told you a judge ordered a gray doctor accused of illegally prescribing drugs to stay in jail. And this morning, many people are asking how Thomas Saatchi's patients and other people with addiction problems can get help. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, three out of every five drug overdoses nationwide involve opioids. Law enforcement has directed Saatchi's patients to several local rehabilitation centers that can help people who are suffering from painkiller addictions and other substance abuse. You can call to make an appointment or you can just walk in. You must be 18 years or older and have been using painkillers for at least one year. At HealthQuest in Macon, clinical director Amber Foster says they provide counseling and medication that helps a patient slowly reduce their addiction. Those medications help them not be in withdrawal. 
Um, and so then in combination with the counseling staff is what's really going to help. The U.S. Attorney has provided a list of clinics and treatment centers where doctor, former Dr. Saatchi's patients can go. You can find that story on our homepage on 13WMAZ.com. Now in some more health news this morning, Americans are working less and sleeping more. A recent Labor Department report reveals the average American is getting 8 hours and 48 minutes of shut-eye per night. How? Where? Teach me. That is including some naps. I don't know about you, Hunter, but that, that situation, I think, is the opposite for me. I'm, I work more and sleep less. Well, when I fill in on this shift, I certainly do not get anywhere close to those numbers. So let's look at the current temperatures outside. 73 right now for Macon. Welcome back. It is 644. If you're a little sleepy this morning after listening to some fireworks last night, maybe you didn't get the recommended, what was it, eight hours and yeah, 48 nine minutes, hours. according to that other study. <laughs> I don't know who is doing that. But this will perk you up. This patriotic pup is ready for his dog walking forecast today. Everybody, this is Bella. Thank you, Alyssa, for sending in this picture. By the way, I think that's where Wanya got his glasses from for that last live shot. Oh, that could be. Maybe they maybe they share them. That's a very patriotic dog right there. Dog it walking is. forecast. It'll be muggy this morning. Welcome back, 649. Now to your morning headlines from around the world. Rescuers in Thailand are still working on a plan to remove a youth soccer team and their coach from a flooded cave. Thai Navy SEALs released another video yesterday showing the group huddled together, some wearing foil sheets. Officials say the boys may need to stay in the cave until floodwaters recede or use scuba gear in order to swim out. Well, back in the States, Americans are celebrating the 4th of July and President Trump will mark the day hosting a picnic on the South Lawn of the White House for military families. Some of the nation's biggest cities are planning fireworks shows, of course. And the Secret Service is urging travelers to be alert today and throughout the holiday. They say thieves are planting credit card skimmers at gas stations to try to steal your account information. Agents are now inspecting gas pumps in 21 states. Certainly be aware of that before you head out the door this morning. All right, here is Hunter with a look at your traffic. All right, we're looking live at I. Welcome back. It is 652. You'll hear the sounds of fireworks really all day today, but those celebrations can cause anxiety for people who have been through the trauma of war. Tiffany Lou spoke to a veteran who says he will not let his fears stop him from celebrating today. From 2003 to new this morning, the Bibb County Sheriff's Office is investigating two armed robberies investigators believe are connected. The first one happened at the Sitco gas station on Rocky Creek Road just before three this morning. And then about an hour later, a man robbed the Waffle House on Riverside Drive. The Sheriff's Office says the suspect in both robberies was wearing a white V-neck, dark blue jeans, a black scarf over his head and a blue bandana over his face. They say he was traveling in a blue Honda Civic. This is a developing story. We will keep you updated both on air and online. If you have any information, you should contact the Bibb County Sheriff's Office 478-751-7500. All right, we'll get another check on the forecast now and for today we will be hot, we will be muggy, a few scattered showers and storms around for the evening though. Fireworks still think we're mostly dry. Good news there for the weekend. Better rain chances, a little cooler too. Look at those 80s on the board by Sunday and Monday. Rest of the work week though will be hot and muggy, a few storms as well. No surprise there. Yep. Well, thank you for joining us for 13 WMAZ Morning and the news continues on 13 WMAZ.com and MAZ Mobile. CBS This Morning is next, then we'll have more local news and weather in 25 minutes. Have a great morning. Happy Independence Day.